You know that feeling, right? Especially in this city, it's non-stop. We're always plugged in, heads down, navigating his sea of screens and dodging slow walkers. Like it's some kind of real-life video game, I swear sometimes. It feels like even the city itself is on autopilot. But, you know, even in all this concrete, we still crave connection. And that's kind of what this whole deep dive is about. A tiny reminder that sometimes those really meaningful connections happen when you least expect them. Mm. So picture this Monday morning. The city's already buzzing. Yeah. I'm practically running on fumes and lukewarm coffee, weaving through the crowds, everyone glued to their phones. And I see something totally unexpected on the sidewalk. A perfect little heart-shaped leaf. Wow. I know. I know. It sounds cliche. But in that moment, surrounded by all the gray, concrete, and hurried footsteps, it felt like a little piece of magic. It was this warm, rusty red color with a velvety texture and kind of frayed edges, like it had blown in from somewhere completely different. That's amazing. It's like this tiny little leaf in the middle of all the urban chaos suddenly becomes the symbol of connection. Yeah. You know? And I think it taps into something really human, our constant search for meaning, for something that resonates with us emotionally. Yeah. We sure. see this all the time in the digital world, right? With okay. dating apps, social media, we're constantly bombarded with these curated online experiences, all promising connection and validation. So true. But then you have this unfiltered, unassuming heart just lying there on the sidewalk, offering this genuine moment of wonder. It makes you think, have we gotten so used to seeking connection through filters and algorithms that we've forgotten the simple beauty of those unmediated experiences? Well, I, my first thought was to take a picture. Yeah. You know? Share it on social media with some witty caption about finding love in unexpected places. But then something stopped me. It felt too personal, yeah. too genuine to be rebent to a post. It almost felt like, I don't know, like littering the internet with another piece of curated content. Mm, that's a really fascinating point. You know, these curated online experiences, while they might connect us in some ways, they can also create this sense of pressure, comparison, and ultimately disconnection. We're constantly evaluating ourselves, our experiences, through the lens of how they'll appear online. Yeah, it's like we're performing for an audience all the time. Exactly. And sometimes I think we lose sight of what really matters. Like a simple heart-shaped leaf just doing its thing on a city sidewalk. Yeah. Just a little reminder that beauty and connection can be found anywhere. If we just open ourselves up to it, it's almost like we've traded genuine connection for this illusion of connection, you know? Like we're so busy crafting this perfect online persona that we forget to nurture those connections that are right in front of us. Yeah. And it's funny, we spend hours curating our digital lives, yeah. trying to project this image of perfection. And then this simple imperfect thing, like a heart-shaped leaf, yeah. reminds us what really matters. It's a reminder that beauty and connection can be found anywhere if we're open to seeing it. Absolutely. It's like a reminder to look up from our screens and engage with the world around us. You know, think about it. How many times have we walked right past something amazing, something that could spark joy or wonder just because we were glued to our phones. Oh, all the time. <laughs> we're so used to seeking stimulation from our devices that we become almost numb to the beauty of everyday life. It's like our brains have developed this digital filter that blocks out anything that doesn't fit into our curated online experience. Yeah, and that's a shame because the real world is full of these incredible moments, you know? These little bursts of serendipity that we miss when we're constantly plugged in. It's like we're living in this parallel universe where everything is filtered and polished and we forget that the messy, imperfect beauty of the real world, that's where the real connection lies. It's like we're so busy swiping through profiles hoping to find the one that we miss the person standing right next to us on the subway reading the same book or wearing a t-shirt with a band we love. Yeah. We're literally surrounded by potential connections, but we're too busy staring at our screens to notice them. It's ironic, isn't it? We're more connected than ever before thanks to technology. And yet we're also more isolated. We have access to this huge network of people, but we're often too intimidated or distracted to actually engage with the people right in front of us. And even when we do engage, it's often through the filter of social media. We post about our experiences, we share our thoughts and feelings, but it's all carefully curated and edited. We're presenting this version of ourselves not the real thing. It's like we've become so used to performing for an audience that we've forgotten how to just be ourselves, flaws and all. And that's where the real magic of connection lies, you know, in those moments of vulnerability and authenticity. So what's the solution? Do we all need to ditch our phones and move to a remote cabin in the woods to rediscover genuine connection? Well, not necessarily. I think it's about finding a balance. It's about being mindful of our technology use and making a conscious effort to unplug and engage with the world around us. It's about remembering that real life is happening offline. 
in the moments we share with others, in the beauty we find in the everyday. It's about recognizing that a heart-shaped leaf on a city sidewalk can be just as meaningful, if not more so than a thousand likes on a perfectly filtered Instagram photo. It's about remembering that connection is all around us if we just take the time to look up and see it. So how do we actually do that? Shift our focus? Yeah. I mean, it's easy to talk about being more present, but with the city's energy constantly pulling us in a million directions, how do we actually tune it out? Yeah, it's not about becoming a Luddite and swearing off technology altogether, you know? It's more about setting boundaries and being more intentional with our time. Start small. Maybe dedicate a specific time each day to unplug, even if it's just for 15 minutes. Put the phone away. Resist the urge to check email. And just be present in the moment. It's like a digital detox, but for city dwellers. Exactly. And you can tailor it to your own life. Maybe it's taking a walk without your headphones, really observing the sights and sounds around you, or having dinner with friends and family phones off the table actually engaging in conversation. Which, let's be honest, can feel like a Herculean effort in this city. It's like everyone's attached to their phones by invisible umbilical cord. But I get what you're saying. It's about creating those little pockets of real life connection, reclaiming some of that space that's been overtaken by the digital world. Right. And you know what's interesting? Studies have shown that even short periods of disconnection can have a huge impact on our well-being. It reduces stress, improves focus, and can even boost creativity. It's like giving our brains a much-needed vacation from the constant digital stimulation. It's like hitting the reset button on our internal operating systems. Yeah. And who knows, maybe while our brains are rebooting, we'll actually notice those heart-shaped leaves and those serendipitous encounters that are happening all around us. Maybe we'll even strike up a conversation with a stranger who, gasp, isn't staring at their phone. The possibilities are endless, but really, it all comes down to being more mindful. Pay attention to how you're feeling when you're constantly plugged in. Are you feeling anxious, overwhelmed, disconnected? If so, that's a sign that it's time to take a break. And maybe, just maybe, that break will lead to something extraordinary. Maybe it's a chance encounter, a moment of unexpected beauty, or simply a renewed sense of connection with yourself and the world around you. You might even find a heart-shaped leaf of your own right here in the middle of the concrete jungle. So the next time you find yourself rushing through your day, lost in the digital whirlwind, Remember to take a moment to pause, look up, and really see the world around you. You might be surprised by what you discover. And there you have it. A deep dive into finding connection in a disconnected world. Remember, the magic is out there, even in the most unexpected places. All you have to do is look up and see it.